heart disease is a chronic illness. And it hasn't been that long ago that it wasn't a chronic illness. If you had heart disease, you really didn't make it that long. So we've made great strides in both preventing heart disease and once it's diagnosed, helping people live an active and full life with it. Paramount in that treatment on the patient side is regular physical activity and a healthy diet and partnering with your physician to discuss medications and regular follow-up to monitor for symptoms and outcome. Reasons to suspect that you might be suffering from heart disease would typically include things like chest discomfort, squeezing or pressure sensation that occurs usually in the chest, sometimes radiating into the neck or jaws, even into the back or down the left arm. That discomfort will typically occur with exertion and go away with rest and is often associated with shortness of breath, nausea, or excessive sweating. So if anyone is experiencing those symptoms, they should seek attention from their physician. If someone experiences a sudden onset of chest pressure, shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, heart racing, or palpitations, he or she shouldn't wait more than about five minutes before calling 911 to be evaluated in the emergency room. So many people experience symptoms and want to sit and wait to see if they get better. It's a hassle to go to the emergency room. Um, it's inconvenient for your family. It's inconvenient for you. But if you're experiencing chest discomfort, shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, palpitations, particularly of a sudden onset, or that are coming and going over a few minutes, you really shouldn't wait more than about five minutes to seek help. It is not wise to drive yourself or a loved one to the emergency room in that situation. It's always safest to call 911 so that treatment can begin right away if it's necessary and so they can get you right into the emergency room when that becomes necessary.